Hello YouTube and all who now but my name is NeedoZ and in today's video I'm going to show you how to detect right clicks in Minecraft. And basically what that allows you to do is something like this. As you can see every time I right click, one of these fangs is summoned into my Minecraft game wherever I'm pointing. So the first step in accomplishing this is actually giving ourselves an item. So let's head over to MC Stacker for that. Okay, so as you can see now, we are on mcstacker.net. You can either type in the link yourself, or you can click the first link in the description. So, we want to give ourselves an item, so I'm going to hit the slash give button. And this is essentially going to allow us to create a slash give command. So now we need to decide what item we're actually going to give ourselves. And for this tutorial, you must choose a carrot on a stick. So where it says filter, I'm going to type in carrot, and then go to this item tab, and then go down to carrot on a stick, just like that. Now the reason that we have to choose carrot on a stick is because it is one of the only items in the game that can detect right clicks without coming out of your hand. So let's head to the name tab. This is just going to allow you to differentiate. So you want your component type to be text, just like that. Don't make it translate, make it text. And then for value, I'm going to be showing you guys how to summon lightning at the right click on your mouse. So I'm just going to type in, let's say, lightning pillar. I hope I spelled that right. Um, but you should remember this from the magic spells video if you watch that. So now we have our color and I'm just going to select yellow for that. It's down there now. Um, for bold, I'm going to select true. For italic, you should select false. If italic is on unset, it will go to its default, which is true. I don't want it to be italic, so I'm going to select false. And then underline, I'm going to select as true. Now, lore. This is the little item description in purple underneath your item, basically. So for value, I'm just going to type in allows the user to summon a lightning bolt. Just like that. Color, I'm going to keep on unset because I like that faded purple color. Font, we can leave alone. Same thing for up here. And for this, I'm just going to set all these to false. Bold false, italic false, and underline false. Just like that. So this is our preview. This is our preview for here. You can't really see it because the background's yellow, but it'll work. Continuing to go down the line, we see damage, that doesn't matter, repair cost doesn't matter, unbreakable, I'm going to select true, count doesn't matter, custom model data doesn't matter, and custom tags. This is going to be how we differentiate from a regular carrot on a stick and your carrot on a stick. So we're going to give this a tag, and I'm just going to call it light colon 1b. Now it's very important that you put colon 1b at the end of whatever your tag is. Your tag can be anything you want in the world as long as there are no spaces and you just need that colon 1b at the end or it won't work. Can't place on doesn't matter, can't destroy doesn't matter, hide flags, we're just going to hide all of these. I'm going to go into enchantment and I'm just going to select glint only because I like that sort of shiny feel and then modifiers we can leave that alone. So you'll see that our command has generated up here and we can just hit this copy button right here and that's going to copy it to our clipboard. Now we can head back into our Minecraft world. Alright so now we're going to head to this first command block. If you don't know how to get a command block you simply just need to type slash give your name. My name is NeedoZ so but you type in your player name c-o-m-m -M, and then just hit tab and that will give you a command block just like this. So I don't really need this because I already have mine placed down here. And yeah, we can open this up. And now you should just be able to hold down the control key and the V key, and that will paste it into this command block. If you're on an Apple device, you should be able to hit command V, but for me, I'm using Windows, so it'll be control V. So now that I've done that, I can just hit this button. And as you can see, I got this item that looks like it's enchanted. It's called lightning pillar and its description says allows the user to summon a lightning bolt. Pretty cool stuff. So now we actually need to get into the commands themselves. First up, we need to make a scoreboard that will detect when we actually right click this item. So for this, as you can see, we have our regular old command block and we need to turn this into a repeating command block. So where it says impulse down here, click that twice until it says repeat. Now we need to make our scoreboard. So I'm going to type in the scoreboard command, objectives, add, and this is basically going to create a new scoreboard. And now we want to name it. So I'm just going to call this scoreboard light. And then this is what it's actually detecting. So I'm going to type in Minecraft dot used colon Minecraft dot carrot on a stick. And you can autocorrect it just like that by hitting tab. So now we have created our scoreboard, except this command block is not active, but we're not going to activate it because we don't really want to activate this yet. That's for over there. 
Now we get into the guts of our command. So there are always going to be two chain command blocks. And if you don't know how to make those, usually it'll start on start out on impulse and you need to click it until it says chain. And then you want these to be on always active. If they're not on always active, it will not work. So the guts will always include at least two command blocks. The first one is going to be telling Minecraft what to actually do, and the second will be resetting your scoreboard. Let's start with resetting the scoreboard. So we're going to come into this command block, and we want to type in scoreboard, just like we did before, except we want to do players this time. We want to do remove at A, and then we want to type in these two brackets on the end. Scores equals... And then we want to type in our objective, which is going to be light. Then we want to do equals, and then the score for that. So that's going to be 1. And then we want to type in light once again. And this is what we're going to set it to. So I'm just going to set it to 1, because we are removing 1 from that scoreboard. I know it seems like we should be removing that player, but no, we are removing 1 point from that player's score. So now that command block is done. So let's get into the actual guts, and I know that both of these are the guts, but this is what Minecraft is actually going to do. So I'm going to right click on this, and what you want to do is copy and paste the, I believe it will be the second command in the description. So I'm going to hold down Control and V, or Command and V if you're on a Mac, and I'm going to go to the home, and it says execute as, so we're execute at, we are executing this command as the player with their light scoreboard equaling one. So where it says score, you want to replace it with whatever you named your scoreboard. So we are executing this as the player with a score of one for the light scoreboard. So NBT also means just some of the attributes that this player will have. So it's going to say NBT equals selected item ID Minecraft carrot on a stick. So that's saying we're going to execute it as the player that's holding a carrot on a stick. So how are we going to differentiate from a regular carrot on a stick and our carrot on a stick? Well, that's where the tag comes in. If you remember, I set my tag as light, so that's just going to be light colon 1b. Then, if you remember, I said that I'm going to be showing you guys how to summon a lightning bolt. So we want to execute this command at, at s, just like that. And what at s means, it, it's basically just going as whoever the as is. Okay, so it's it's just going to be executing as our player that is holding the carrot on a stick, has their scoreboard as one, all that. And I'm going to type in anchored eyes, and this is going to summon this at the player's eyes. Then we want to do run, summon, lightning bolt, because we're summoning a lightning bolt. And then we want to type in this carrot symbol, which is right above the six, carrot, carrot, negative one, carrot 5. And that is basically going to tell the game to summon the lightning bolt where the player's cursor is pointed. And those are basically all the command blocks for this. So now we just need to compile them all over here. So here we are. All I want to do is head over to this command block and I want to set this on always active. This is going to make these command blocks repeat forever which is about 20 times every second. So now I'm going to place down my button on top of this command block. I can get rid of that now. And if I get this in my inventory, you can see I now have it. And we right click, a lightning bolt is summoned. And you can even hold it down for mass destruction. Now, let's say we get some piggies up in here. We have a pig right there. It's a zombie pigman now. Die, die, die. Now it's dead. Yeah, so this is a pretty effective way of killing things if you put it in your survival world. Again, if we go into slash game mode survival, oops, survival, just like that, um, this won't hurt you unless you get too close to it. And obviously, of course, it still works in survival. Um, but obviously, as you can see, the durability isn't going down. But anyway, guys, I really hope that you did enjoy this video. I know I actually had a lot of fun making it. I've actually had a few requests for how to actually make this work, and I'm glad that I finally got around to doing that. So if this video helped you at all, please do consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing. That would help my channel out a ton, and it would show me that you really care. So... The other thing is, please let me know what you want to see down below in the comments. I really appreciate all your feedback, and uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.